Can you hear me now? All right. So this is going to be fun. This was, uh, when we shot this, this was surprising. <clears throat> a little bit, you know, I mean, you know kind of what to expect. Same time, you kind of go, yeah, all right, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, apparently, they've been asking for it. Like, oh, yeah, people have been screaming for this thing. Which I'm kind of curious. I'd like people to chime in to let, let us know why they've been asking for it. And so. Yeah, because there's not nearly enough guns or caliber available, <laughs> right? I mean, it's there's but, nothing wrong with it. Hey, but, I'm all for it. I, I always say, we're smart enough. We can find a wedge in between two guns or two calibers any given time. Yeah. Because if that's what you want, you're going to figure it out, right? We're ready? All right. We're live. Gun Talk Live. Welcome in. We're here. We got, we found this guy. Hey, I was wandering by. They said I could come in. I'm Tom Gresham, and he's Ryan what's his Gresham, face? You know, I think, today. Because we've got something cool to talk about today. Okay. Yeah, so. New, new guns are always cool to talk about. So welcome in, Gun Talk Live. I'm going to monitor Facebook comments. We've got KJ over there monitoring. Behind the scenes. The YouTubes. And, uh, you know, if you have anything smart to say, chime in on Facebook. If you have anything snarky to say, you know, that's where YouTube, that's why it exists. Um, you can tell me why I'm, I'm annoying and smell bad. Nice hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, but we do have something new to talk about today. Yeah, he got a gun. All I got is a holster. What's that about? Springfield Armory, and they've been they, they've announced it already today. So you may have heard about it. Because today is ten ten October tenth. It's ten ten. So why not bring out a ten millimeter, right? Right. So this thing is it's really the, in there. It's the XDM. It's the XDM. You know XDMs. Um, this particular model we got in is the 525 competition version. Right. Well, you have a five and a quarter inch barrel. Five and a quarter inch slide. Slide, slide. yeah. Um, which I guess, you know, you have. It's got the cut on top for light, make it a little bit lighter. Lightning cuts, um, adjustable sights. Um, always like fiber optic front sight. Sure. Just jumps out at you. Right. But it's in 10 millimeter, which is, is what the big news is. Right. Um, so what do you need to know about 10 millimeter? 10 millimeter is one more than nine. One more than nine. There it is. I'm sorry, we're done. We're so out. it's it's one millimeter wider. All right. Story on the 10 millimeter. Here's a quick history of it. It was a big deal. Jeff Cooper, gun sight, really liked the 10 back in the Bryn 10 days. It also was made kind of semi-famous by Miami Vice, where they used the Bryn 10, mm -hmm. and then it just kind of went away. And then after the FBI Miami shootout, the FBI said, hey, what we're using didn't work so well. It was, it was, it yeah. It wasn't a hardware problem. Yeah, it wasn't a hardware problem, but we need more power. Right. Because it, the, what we, when we shot them up, it didn't stop them. So they went to 10 millimeter. Was it, now, they, 10 had been around. 10 had been around for quite a while. They tested different things. They went to the 10. Yeah. And then after a while, they discovered that some of the FBI agents, particularly smaller ones, particularly ones with small hands, maybe people didn't shoot a lot, really couldn't handle the 10, because it is a powerful cartridge. It's more power, so um, then they went back down. So They went to the 40. So the 10 has has kind of lingered there for a while. Always had a really small, but incredibly rabid follow. Right. Um, it's, you know, obviously it is most, most of the time in a semi-automatic gun. Right, you, which could, is, you could have, there are some revolvers, Actually, if you think, even though the 10 was first, think of it as a stretched 40. Right. If you think of it as a stretched 40 S&W, that's what a 10 is. It's a little longer case with a good bit more power. Yeah, a 40 S&W is a, it's a 10 millimeter short. Exactly. Or some some like people that. call it the short and wimpy. Yeah. So. <laughs> but, you know, what's funny is if, if you've shot, probably more people have experience with 40 than 10, right? right? So you've shot 9, you shot 40, you shot 45. 40 is pretty snappy. I think everybody kind of goes, yeah, it's snappy. Well, this is the this. 40 Magnum. Yeah, I think it was a 40 Magnum. Good way to put it. Yes. So, um, and, and you know, perfect example, okay? We have a video here. Um, KJ. KJ. Yep. Went out to the range with this before anybody here did. Um, I think I was out of town. So he zipped out to the range and shot it and shot some video, kind of first reactions of shooting this. So let's play that real quick. Let's take a look. Here goes nothing. Woo. 
Ooh. Felt like I had a pit bull by the ears. <laughs> you guys asked for it, and now you've got it. The Springfield Armory XDM in 10 millimeter, the competition series. It's got a lightning cut, it's got a red dot front sight, it's got rear adjustable sights. So for you competition shooters that couldn't stand the weight and needed an XDM 10, now you've got it. And of course, like all the XDMs, it's a good looking pistol. It's ergonomic. You've got the grip safety, which I particularly like, yeah. you know, and it works the same way. This is a no safety model, no external thumb safety, all built in safeties. I mean, this is their competition model. Right, so there are, there are two versions of this XDM-10, and I think we have um, some footage of that, but basically you have, the one we got in was the 525, um, and then, but they also have a, a, a shorter version. Four and a half inch slide. Four and a half inch slide. With the carry type rear sight, not adjustable rear sight. Right. It's really more of a carry gun. Right, a little bit more of a carry gun. Um, not much difference in weight between the two. It's, like an it's, ounce it's and an a half? Ounce, ounce, about an ounce, maybe an ounce and a half. But it does get you three quarters of an inch closer if you use the bigger gun. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, you can reach out and touch that, that, the exactly. target. So, okay, what would you use this for? Um, well, we actually had a, a comment on YouTube talking about hog hunting. Absolutely, that could be... And, and really any type of hunting, it could, this starts to get you where you can do some hunting um, and it, because you have more power, but also um, I think you have more loads for hunting. So, um, you know, a good, a good Barnes bullet, you know, an all copper bullet, but also you have hard cast bullets. Yeah, if you've got some jacketed bullets that are designed for deep penetration, mm -hmm. I was just looking it up and I think Maybe with the 10, more so than almost anything else, you really are going to need to be careful with your ammo selection. Because right. if you're going to use a 10 millimeter, say for personal defense against two-legged predators, against people, you have to be careful because some of these hunting loads would shoot through a person and then keep on going. So you have to be worried about pass-through. Yep. You know, versus if you're going to be hunting hogs, you go to a big old heavy load with a deep penetrating bullet. I was just looking up the stats on that. And one of the loads I saw for this has almost the same muzzle energy as a 44 Magnum. Well, we just had a question from Jim on Facebook. He said, is the 10 equal to a 41 Remington Magnum? I would say it's right there. It's like neck and neck it's with a 41. Close. And with some loads, not across the board, with some loads, it's right at a 44 Magnum, which kind of brings us to another point. There's an incredible variation in loads in 10 oh, millimeter. Big time. We, we've gotten yeah. some, um, what would you call them, uh, discount loads. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're kind, soft shooting. They're kind of a 40. Actually, they would like to be a 40. They're, they're training loads. They're tra we'll call them training they're, loads. I like that. But to that point, you don't have to spend huge dollars to shoot your 10 if you buy those training sure. loads. Get some training loads. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's no need to beat yourself up on recoil all the time. No. But if you find some real powerful loads. I think Buffalo Board, do they Buffalo load Buffalo Board's like 730 to 740 foot pounds of energy with their yeah, loads. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's potent. Uh, and when you shoot it, you know it because even with the loads we were shooting, yeah. it's jumping. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, but you have something good to hold on to. It's nice and big. Too. Mark, Mark watching in Pensacola, Florida. Mark, you staying dry over there? Is oh, it windy? <laughs> I think Pensacola's okay right now. Yeah, you're probably just an, enough where it's not too big of a deal. It's just kind of a breezy, maybe rainy day, but uh, shout out to everybody in the Florida Panhandle. That's okay. not good over there. Um, but yeah, so we actually, I took this to Idaho um, mm -hmm. as my carry gun. So yeah. woods walking gun because and carry gun. Because you got predators there that are different. Yeah, four-legged predators, yeah. bear, Lion, mountain lion. Lions and tigers and bears. Wolves. Yeah, wolves. <laughs> yeah, my kids were singing bears and cougars and wolves oh my <laughs> so we had the 10 right. um you know i gotta say so typically when you you carry for bear people like to carry a 44 magnum some I, kind of i generally carry a revolver a revolver a six right or seven shot revolver this this magazine holds 15 plus one in the gun 
15 right. rounds of 10. That's right. pretty nice. Comes with two mags. Oh, actually, it comes with three mags this, with the 525. Comes yeah. with two mags with the four and a half inch. But right now, Springfield has this special they deal. They have the gear, another gear up promotion deal where you get a bunch of extra stuff. You get three extra mags and a uh, pistol bag. Right. So, I mean, you can buy this and get your two or three mags and then get three extra mags with this deal they have going right now. Yeah, sweet pretty deal. Cool. Pretty cool. Um, so actually, one of the surprising things for me about this gun is I was actually, I carried it outside the waistband when I was kind of in the woods and a little bit more comfortable way to carry a big full-size gun. I mean, a big full-size gun like this. But I actually put it... And we kind of had to rummage around to find holsters that worked. You used the cross on that? Yeah. Finding holsters that worked for this. I mean, this is a brand new gun. Weren't holsters available. But but, but it's still an XDM. It's an XDM, and it, it mostly worked. Right. And I carried this inside the waistband for a whole day, and it was no problem. I mean, it was cooler weather. I had a jacket on. Gave me a little bit more concealability. But I was surprised at it still carried pretty comfortably that way. I would encourage people to go to our YouTube channel and take a look at the video of you shooting this gun because we've got some slow motion video because people are going to say, well, how much does it kick? Well, yes, it go it's going to kick more than a 9. Yeah. It's going to kick more than a 40. But in a bigger gun, you have uh, two things work for you, actually. Think about the physics of it. You have mass out here. Right. But you also, with a full-length grip here, you have more leverage to keep it from rising up as much. Right. So you were kind of coming up about like this, but it wasn't a whole lot. It wasn't like, wow, you know. No, I mean, I've we, we, obviously we get to shoot lots of guns. Um, you know, I was holding on tight because it's a 10. Sure. And other 10s I've shot, it's noticeable. The recoil is more. Mm -hmm. um, but it was comfortable shoot. Did you notice in the video, you can hear the trigger reset? I could hear that, yeah. right. I mean, he's shooting and going, bang, and you're coming off. I mean, it was, it was a very discernible, you know, reset, and then you're coming back and making good yeah. shots with it. Look, there's a lot of people who like the XDM platform. Um, and a lot of people who like the 10. And you you want a new flavor, 10 millimeter, more power. Why wouldn't you? Um, hey, it's becoming winter. You can you can carry a bigger gun. You're you're wearing a jacket. Besides, I think this is a hogorific idea right here. Yeah, I mean, and and actually, I believe last year KJ, mm -hmm. didn't you do a deer hunt with a 10? Yes. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it was nice. Um, it was a lot different than I was, because I did it with iron sights, too. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I missed the close-up shots, but I connected on the 50-yard shot, which <laughs> yeah. doesn't make any sense at all. Well, he was way too close. You had yeah. to get, let him get yeah, out I mean, there, right? I'm just giving him a sporting chance. <laughs> now, now, how hard is it, is it to, hit, to hit an animal correctly at 50 yards with iron sights? Oh, it's way different. Oh, it's I mean, hard. It's so much different uh, from the way you practice. Yeah. I mean, it, it's so much different because that, you know, on a rifle, you know, you have the opportunity with your optics to really bring that animal into your, your mag like magnify that animal. Yeah. Iron yeah. sights, you really don't have that option. Well, and also, you don't realize it, but when you're in the woods, even in the daytime, it's dim mm -hmm. and black sights. I mean, this has a fiber I optic, love which will be fiber helpful. Optic. It'll that'll be yeah. really helpful, but. You know, all black sights, they're hard to see. Where's the front sight? Where's the rear sight? I would say from a practical standpoint, KJ, you need to be able to shoot about a four-inch group because when you get out on a critter, it's going to get bigger in real life. So probably whatever range or distance, you can shoot an honest four-inch group, like yeah. five shots. Yes. That's probably your effective range. Is that fair? Yes, absolutely. I think that's – and we practiced it a little bit before we went out there. And to find that range, and I think that's the only way I was really able to make that shot. Yeah, but it's it's kind of like bow hunting. You got to get close. It, it, it really makes you it fun. Get close. It's a whole different deal. But it is. It, it's a, you're right. It's a whole different ball game it, when you start talking about closing those distances. You bet. Because we're we're finding in the shooting industry that more people are seeing how far they can shoot. Well, they're looking for far. a challenge. Always looking for a challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so it's either we're going to go long range. Or that's what bow hunting is all about. Let's yep. make it a little harder. Let's have to get close and, and be that's sneaky. Hunting with a handgun is just cool. And I think I love the idea that this can be a carry gun and a hunting gun. And all you have to do is watch your ammo. Choose that carefully. Yeah, that's kind of the adjustment. Yep. Um, we have some comments on Facebook. Um, we have hello from Croatia. Hey. Whoa. Hi. All right. Uh, you guys know uh, Springfield Armory Maybe over there. Croatia. Yes. Um, 
we've got uh, we we talked about Jim Pens and then we have Pensacola. Uh, Justin said he just ordered the four point five inch. Yeah, you're on it. That's you are hardcore, buddy. That's the one I want. You must you must have been the guy calling them like every day, <laughs> and they're like Justin's calling again about the ten millimeter. <laughs> like, we'll put that in the file. Jason, Jared, how you doing? Um, so we you know you've noticed we've been doing more of these gun talk lives. And it's a nice way to get you some new information like this is breaking today. Um, we're also going to be doing a bunch more of Gun Talk Lives next week oh, yeah. from Pittsburgh. Which is the NASGW. Yeah, it's a lot of letters. National Association of Sporting Goods Wholesalers. It's basically a trade show where there are a lot of new products introduced there. And we're going to have the news as things break there long before SHOT Show. This is kind right. of the first look for a lot of things. This is the first step for next year for the gun industry of, of planning things. And they have distributors and dealers and all that stuff. But um, we'll be live from the show floor throughout the day on, uh, I believe, Wednesday, Thursday, and possibly Friday. Um, but but just Wednesday especially, Wednesday and Thursday especially, uh, be on the lookout for lives from us. Um, we have one comment in here that I actually want. It's from Mike. Um, and he says he carries an XD Mod 2. Any chance on seeing a 10 millimeter in that gun? And I would probably say the reason this gun is out right now mm -hmm. is because the consumers asked for it. They were like, they right. got right. like adamant with Springfield about this gun and they heard the demand for it. Well, and remember, this is not an XD, it's an XDM. So you get the ergonomic benefit that they made when they went to the M. Sure. You got the cutout here, you got the cutout over here. It feels, even though it's a full-size gun, it feels a little bit slimmer. Now, the Mod 2, maybe down the road, but probably you're right. Probably this know. is what they had available. They could drop it in. We always say, oh, it's easy for you guys. They say, yeah, it'll take two years. Right. Which, you know, it's easy for us. I mean, we don't have to do it. Well, and like the magazine, the magazine is a 10 millimeter magazine. So because it has this floor plate saying uh, 10 millimeter, I'm thinking that they had to do some redesign on the magazine. Absolutely. Which is another step. When you're talking about, you know, designing a gun, they also have a lot of times have to design a magazine, which is not always right. easy. Right, and they say, okay, and we would also like to have, oh, 250,000 of these to start off with. It takes a while to gear up for that. Right, yeah. So, if, you know, if this one does really well, there'll probably be more. Why not? Um, so, we'll see. Uh, you know, the 10 millimeter seems to have a following. By the way, if there are other things that you'd like for us to do videos on, if you've got questions that you'd like us to address, whether it's on the gear side or the political side or anything else, drop us a note, jump over to Facebook. And you know. you, you've, uh, you've been knocking it out on the newsletters. Uh, oh, yeah. We are getting a lot of good stuff. You had one last week that was I'll Shoot Your Dog, did, and I love that. I one. did the piece on I'll Shoot Your Dog, and then two days ago we had the news that a police officer's canine, his dog, that police dog, one. jumped him and tried to kill his handler, and the other cop had to kill the police dog. A, a canine. A canine. Oh yeah, he had to kill his the police dog. So that's weird. I'm telling you, and it's unbelievable how many letters and comments we've gotten from people saying, "Yeah, I had to shoot a dog," or "The only time I ever had to pull a, a gun was for a dog." And it's real. It's yeah. real deal. And it's not like, "Hey, I'm going to shoot something out at 10 yards." It's a swirling mess that's all around yeah, you. Yeah, ball of fur. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> uh, a fur missile. <laughs> yeah, but if there's something you want us to talk about, you know, to do a video on or do a live video where you can be a part of it, let us know. Jared said, I know talk, Tom talked about a few guns coming out. Are there more next week? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and mm -hmm. we'll and talk no, about we what we can talk, talk about, about next week. <laughs> and some of the stuff actually at NASGW will still be secret. Yeah. So that'll so be we'll, we'll turn the volume a little bit low when we're talking about it. So they'll keep it secret. <laughs> uh, yes, there, see. there are. In fact, there are literally guns on the way to us right now as we speak. Brand yeah, new stuff. a lot of new stuff. This is the time of year for it. Yeah. People are gearing up, and they used to wait all the way until Shot Show. Yeah. Now it happens even earlier to kind of get it's, a jump it's, on it's it. It's pretty much all year long now. Yeah. Well, uh, that's about what we have. So okay. check it out if you're interested in 10 millimeter. The yep. Springfield Armory XDM and 10. And if you're not interested in 10 millimeter, you should be. Yeah, it's it's fun.